Hey, what's going on everyone? A lot of people have been asking me about Astronomy Domini, my jungle carpet python, and how he's doing. Uh, I'm sorry there's so much glare, but here he is. He's doing fantastic. He just finished eating a couple of mice. And before we take him out of there, uh, we definitely want to get him into his enclosure. He has not been in there in almost six months. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to build his enclosure for you guys. And it's going to be, there it is, it's completely empty. And it's going to be set up the same way as the old enclosure was. But I figured I would show everybody how I'm going to do this. Um, the snake is doing fantastic, by the way, guys. Uh, we're still feeding him small mice. And we're just going to hope that, uh, you know, he passes, um, you know, the mice. I want to get two or three good uh, food passes before I go ahead and determine that the snake is 100%. But as of right now, I'm going to say he's uh, probably about 90%, you know, as far as his prolapse is concerned. All right. Now, back over to the tank here. Um, here's everything that's going to go into the tank. Okay, we have our water dish and a little water pump. And then we have um, hides. We have another small water dish here. Another corner hide, and uh, you know, this is my rock that I usually put in the tank. Then we have this hide here, which is going to be the hanging hide, and obviously, um, you know, the tree that was in there. We're going to use Repta Bark, which is an all natural bark substrate for this in particular tank, and in all my tanks. I like the bark, you know, number one, because it's very easy to maintain, it holds heat and it holds moisture. And I don't have any snakes that burrow other than my Brazilian rainbow boas, so the snakes are not going to burrow underneath these. I do not use any overhead heating. Uh, as you guys can see here, none of these lights that I have up here produce overhead heat. For lights, we have combination daylight, 5% uh, UVB, and then also that's a 25 watt, I believe, and then we have a 13 watt, 2% UVB as well. Um, and then that middle light is just a red light that comes on at night and then these blue lights I can turn off and on and they get connected up in with uh, you know the fluorescence and you know things like that. We have this lava lamp going and um, what we're gonna do I think I'm just gonna put this right up on the tripod before I start talking about his theme and everything like that and I'm just gonna go ahead and build the tank for you guys. I'm just gonna go ahead and take the whole bag and put it in there. It's actually not a whole bag, it's like a half a bag. We're going to see how we get that, how that goes. We're looking for about two inches, um, you know, all around. This way it'll get, you know, nice, uh, it'll build up the heat and it'll hold humidity and whatnot. And I got a lot in there, which is fine. Um, it's good that the snakes will have someplace soft to go and hang out and, and hang down on. So now that we have that in there, what we're going to do is we're going to start out and take the corner hide. And we're just going to go ahead, stuff the corner hide in there. Just spread the bark around, you know, any way is fine. Uh, once again, you don't really need to go this thick for a jungle carpet python, guys. Because the snake is not going to burrow. He's never going to burrow underneath this substrate whatsoever. So he'll never go underneath there and hit the heat pad and burn himself on it. It's just not going to happen with a jungle carpet python. They just will not burrow, even when they're hunting. Um, now what we're going to want to do is, I think we're going to take this, and this is probably going to just kind of go like right here. I think that's a good place for it. Um, the water dish, which is right here, and we got some nice colored rocks, and we're just going to take them out for now. That water dish is going to go right there and that, and that side. And as you can see, there's still plenty of room on the floor for the snake. And then over here... I always like to have two water dishes for the snakes. So this one we're going to kind of put over here in this corner. Um, this is my golf rock, which I love. You've seen this in s several of the tanks. We could really put this anywhere. I mean, you could put it right there. I was thinking about leaving it over there, which I think is going to be really good. Leave it in that corner for the time being. Now the other thing that I did not show, which we have because there was not enough room, is we have our ornaments that we're going to hang in there. This will help give the snake cover and, you know, help him feel like he's at home. And we're going to put these in at the very end. We'll get all them in there for you guys so you guys can really see how I put the tanks together. Uh, next thing what we're going to do is we're going to hang the hide. Now this is basically, if you guys have ever seen me do the, uh, you know, how I do my vine systems, it's very similar, okay? It's just a baby vine wrapped around with extensions on it and some suction cups so that we can hang this. So it will be suspended in midair. Once we put this in here, get it set up. 
once again, it's not going to be uh, exactly where everything's going. This is just so that we can get set up in here. Just like that. Okay, that's pretty much how that's going to be. It actually looks like almost ex exactly how it's going to be. All right, so now we can really see that this tank is starting to come to life. And then what we want to do is we're going to take this. Now this is going to help the snake go from the floor up to his up higher perch. Now that that looks like it's in, in pretty good shape there. And what we're going to do is we're just going to kind of put this under. You see how it's hitting into that water ball a little bit? So it's kind of good that I put a lot of substrate in here because now that branch is going to go underneath the substrate. The water ball can sit up on top. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cover that bottom. Um, and now what I have to do is we got to hold this in place, okay? And one of the things that we could do to hold it in place and also to create a second level, so there's actually going to be about three levels in this tank. What I'm going to do, and this is, I'm probably going to have to cut this while I do this because it's going to take me a while to get this set up right. The vine is going to go across and we're going to wrap it around this uh, tree here to keep the tree from falling over. Now um, it's still going to wiggle a little bit, but we're going to have to wrap the vine around the tree and then we're going to secure it to either side of the tank. Alright, perfect guys. Here we are with everything pretty much. Uh, we got that second level as you guys can see there. Um, I took an extra vine from the gym and put it in there. But as you guys can see, it's just wrapped around the tree and then it's suspended to either side and held up by suction cups and then we took a, a second vine and wove it in to uh, get that basket look and then I think we might do one from here straight across and then do a couple more baskets up in the front area for him but I don't think that it's necessary he now has one two I mean, he's got three levels in here, three full levels anyway, that he's going to be able to hang out on, which is really good. All right, um, basically what we're going to do now is I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to run the uh, water pump, and then also we have a combo uh, thermostat and thermometer as well. And we're going to start getting the tank ready for calibration, and we're going to add the water, and then we're going to add the ornaments, and then the tank is going to be all set, and we're going to put the snake in there. So a couple more minutes. All right, guys, here we go. You guys want to take a look. We've got water and bluestone in the dish. We've got our pump set up in there. We have hung all of the ornaments. We have our, you can see the little probe for our thermometer thermostat combo. He has got his upper platform. He's got his second level. You guys can see back there, all tucked in. He's got a little hide back there that he's never going to use. I'm probably going to eventually take that out. And then he's got obviously the floor where he can hide and hang out and, and whatnot. But his glare is ridiculous. I'm so sorry about the glare, guys. But anyway, I'm about ready to fire it up. And uh, Tank seems to be missing something. So let's get the snake and put him in and see how he does. And let's see. Let's get him going in. There you go, pal. Look at him. <laughs> I said he wasn't going to go into the hide. And that's the first place he went. But a little bit too small. Hey, Dominie, what's up, buddy? You haven't been in there in a month. I think let's go ahead and let's fire up the water. There we go. That's run off of the thermostat, by the way. I'm sure the snake just ate a couple of small mice, so he's going to want to uh, probably grab something to drink. or let him know that the water's in there and good to go. And as you can see, he's checking out the territory. And you can see his head. He, it looks like he wants to go up. And he does. But, alright, yep, there he goes. Go for that fresh stuff, pal. Grab a drink of water. Good boy. Look at him. Good boy. You can see him getting his head right in there to grab some water. He just had two mice. This snake's going to be really happy to get back into this enclosure. And I'm real happy to have him in there. Uh, but that's pretty much the, uh, the setup. I'm going to try and get him to go back, go in all the way. There you go, pal. Good boy. Uh, hanging the ornaments, you know, a little tricky. you got to get him in there and just, you know, weave him in and out. Doing this second level was a little tricky, too. And uh, But ultimately, we got the snake in, home, and we're going to close him up. 
and we're going to go ahead and we're going to let him uh, let him enjoy his his habitat. And what I'm going to do, guys, I think next time I'll get into you know temperature and everything. You can't even see there it is. Uh, tank has just been fired up. Humidity's way down, but I'm sure once we get this pump going and everything like that with the custom cover and whatnot, that this whole tank is going to come out really good. And I ran out of sticky, sticky stuff to do the leaves down the front of the glass like I had. So I'll do that in the next video as well. And then we'll get into lighting, heating, and all that other stuff. Because I'm sure that this video is going to be very long. Maybe close to 20 minutes with me putting this all together and whatnot. But look at this. Look at him going. Look, he's going right. He just took some drinks right out of where the fresh water is coming. And you can see the snake is getting, getting into position. And once again, he wants to go up. He is going to want to go as high as he possibly can. If the tank was any higher, he would go really high. And once again, guys, I do want to point out that you are going to be much better off with a platform for your second levels rather than a perch for a uh, for an adult jungle carpet python. Um, I promise I'm going to keep everybody updated on this snake and his progress and how he keeps on developing through the prolapses and everything but really good to have him back in his enclosure and everything like that and you can see it's a beautiful setup for him he loves it and you can see him he's still trying to go higher right there but he'll get himself up it up on that and he'll roll himself up into a nice little ball and I think we're gonna film it until he gets comfortable in there and you can see him slowly working himself up, on, up onto that platform and he likes to hang out most of his body up top and then hang down and keep his head on that little tree there, which is really good. I'm so happy he's back home and in. And we're going to just go ahead and uh, I think that's going to be about it. I mean, it kind of looks like he wants to go into the hide. That's where the heat is coming from, and he's been out most of the time, so it's probably why he's got his head down in there. Um, but in the last like couple of years, I've had bigger highs in there, and the snake just really doesn't use them. He would much rather prefer hanging out up top on the platform. So, all right, guys. I mean, that's gonna pretty much uh, complete the video, I guess. If we want to go ahead, and you can see him how thirsty he is, going and getting some more water, and he goes right for the bubbles, and goes right where the fresh stuff is flowing from. Once again, guys, I appreciate all your support, and I hope you liked the video on setting up the tank for the Jungle Carpet Python and getting Domini back into his home after six months.